Hey guys, this is Bill, uh, and I thought uh, since I'm starting to post my YouTube videos up there on my telescope and everything, I try to give you a little tour of this uh, observatory. Now it's dark, but I want you to pretend that you can look at, and I turn on the light, you can see my porch. Let me turn on the other light so you can see maybe beyond. There's, there's my trailer, and as you can see, I have a, a moon up in the sky, and if you look, the moon is heading this way towards my house, and when it gets to my house, it, it's called cutoff time. This is early in the month. Uh, as the month progresses, the moon will start rising higher and higher and then eventually way over there on the horizon eastern kind of horizon so I'll get to see the moon throughout the entire evening just about this is my uh, telescope with its lens cap on and to take the lens cap off big lens cap and it's hard to see I know because it's dark but it's that's what you do and uh, I have uh, a uh, a little spotter scope on there and this is the camera that I'm using right now I call it the Chinese camera it's uh, sold by Think Geek, Geek uh, currently for $99, but you can buy it directly from China if you know where to look for uh, $54. Or you can buy a hundred of them for probably $10, I don't know. <laughs> uh, this is the uh, control unit for the telescope. And uh, this is called a, a Starlight XLD uh, coded, and this is a Nexstar 8 SE with a super super sturdy mount. Uh, I'll show you my my eyepiece for it. I got a bunch of them, but this is one uh, that I use. And then uh, you can see the wind is blowing and why I was having a helicopter. The same, the wind is right now gusting to 30. Uh, it's, I don't know if you can see. Let me see if I can zoom in on the trees over there. They're really. It's, it's, it's hard to see because it's dark and this is not a night camera. But they are swaying pretty hard. Blowing in the breeze. Maybe you can see my tallow tree better. Nah, it's too dark. Trust me, it's uh, it is pretty windy. But I thought I'd do a little short video of uh, the telescope, and I'm going to try to do the moon. You, you can see if you look, the moon is enshrouded in haze. And that happens sometimes. It helps actually improve conditions. Uh, let me sit down on my <laughs> my easy chair, and I'll show you my what I'm working with right now. I bought this. Uh, this is a uh, an astronomy. <laughs> it's, an, it's an astronomy laptop. Mike and I both, we're, we're clones. We bought the same one. Uh, yeah, this is my red light. It's called a satellite th uh, C655 Vision AM2 dual core. It's a bottom line $320 laptop Best Buy. <laughs> and it's got a really nice looking big screen and it seems to do the job. 283 hard, gigabyte hard drive. And uh, 
one of the tools that I'll be using are my uh, 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 iPads. I have an iPad. This is my iPad 2 and then I have a regular iPad. And what what's nice about this is see you can you can bring up like west south northeast you know you can and basically then face that part of the sky and you can see what's up there and you see a star you say what is that star by the moon and then you look on it and you can see it's it's Actarius and also it shows you the constellations that it's involved but what's what's neat about it see uh, with finding planets and stars and nebula is it, it it's, it's synced to the, the current time like it's 8.59 p.m. right now here outside of Houston and if you skim along see so you can you can kinda make the make the moon go down you can in time now it's 11.13 it's hard to see out of focus and the moon is almost to the horizon of course I'll lose it about there I think I'll lose it around 10 o'clock or so so I'm gonna try to start this process and then when you hit now it it clicks right into where it was over here I have this thing set up to where I uh, have specific programs uh, installed the one program I'm using to capture the data it's called uh, debut video capture software and this is uh, uh, currently it's capturing uh, the image off of uh, the built-in camera but we're going to go up here to device See, it says device and we're going to change it to capture I think we are. Let me exit the program and bring up. Uh, this is the one I use with all my other cameras. It's called CamDesk, and with CamDesk you can uh, specifically start it. And oh, the. Uh, webcam was not plugged in correctly just a second okay I figured out the problem this thing wasn't in see when you plug this USB plug in the dark you got to get it in the right slot and when you plug it in hear that little da da that means that the uh, the driver for this camera is now running and then when I bring up the the Depew it took me a long time to find a program that really did work the Depew uh, capture program now has turned on the light and is in control of, the, of that I want to show you one thing before I shut this down and, and try to do the focusing and everything. The uh, the specs on this, it's hard to see, but there's a format and there's a lot of them that you can choose. And the one that I'm choosing is 1080 by 1024, 4.3, 7.5 frames per second. And uh, that gives me the highest resolution. And as slow as I'm going, the frames per second shouldn't be too much of a problem. And surprising or not, I'm using the internal microphone. See, there's the 10. It's a little fuzzy. What's surprising is last night when I did this, I have air conditioners. Two of them. And they 
even though they're on, you can't hear them very well because the microphones are doing pretty good noise cancellation. Anyhow, to make a uh, one other thing when you go to options, uh, there's the thing called device settings. And you go to device settings, like I did right there, and I say change device settings. And that brings up this control. And uh, uh, with this control, then I can uh, I can actually uh, modify the settings of the camera. But for right now, I'm going to leave it set, and I push that button and start recording. I'm going to set up the, the telescope real quick if I can. Uh, when you uh, turn it on, the lights come on, so let's uh, turn it on. There's a... When I turn it on, you can see it says uh, Next Star SC, <clears throat> press enter uh, to begin alignment. So I'll hit enter. And uh, I want to select uh, the uh, solar system align. That's the simplest one for me. Because all I got to do is get on that moon and hit enter in the line, and it's aligned. So I'll say enter. And uh, the time is uh, 907. Oh. And it's uh, PM Daylight Savings Central. The date is 0903.11. And the select the it says select object. I'm going to select the moon, and then I'll hit. Enter. It says use the direction buttons to uh, center the object. So what I'll do is uh, I'm going to turn on this uh, right here. Turn on the uh, and let's see if I can uh, see when I push the up button it goes up. The down button goes down, and I'm trying to look through that uh, I don't know if you can see it or not, I can. I'm trying to make this educational, guys. Then I go up. Okay. Center moon and press center. A line moon. Okay, uh, now here we got a, a line moon. And again, I'm hoping my focus is right because I hadn't turned anything on. Let me uh, get it all lined up and then I'll turn it back on one last time before I go to the moon. Okay guys, uh, I'm uh, fighting a very, very uh, foggy, cloudy moon tonight. It comes and goes. Uh, I have this kind of neat program that allows me to look at the moon. Matter of fact, I'm looking at it with a light on the porch and it's not affecting the image at all except look at it, it went dark again because there's a bunch of clouds up there. But what I do with this uh, program I, I can uh, uh, use that adjustment right there to, to focus and get it uh, get it all focused on the screen. 
and then I can use these controls to adjust the brightness, contrast, saturation, sharpness, gamma, white balance, backlight compensation and gain of the image. But for that to work you have to have an image. <laughs> I don't I, I, I flat don't have an image because it's the dark of night and the hootie owls are raising cane in the barn because it's dark and it's enshrouded in in mist and fog and clouds. <laughs> okay, anyhow, I I think that's a good intro to the setup. Uh, I tried to show you how I would align it. I'll bring this in on the timeline and try to show you the, the different things that I do. What's nice about this, uh, this stand's got a nice little thing to put your lenses in there and everything too. But I think uh, this setup's going to be pretty nice. I want to say one more thing before I shut it down. I got a nice cup of cup of iced, uh, iced tea. I uh, I'm just starting out in astronomy, and I'm trying to learn. I, I had it as a hobby when I was a kid, and I've always been fascinated uh, with with the stars. Uh, this particular telescope is probably the best one that I'll ever own. When I was a kid, I had a a little uh, thirty dollar Tasco sixty power variable variable telescope, and it was a wonderful little scope. And I used it to look at the moon, and uh, I uh, got Edmund Scientific uh, bomber site and uh, hooked it up to my to my uh, telescope and quite frankly uh, it was uh, for a kid a pretty good scope but this uh, this one here is, is going to kind of fulfill a lot of, of uh, fanciful dreams I've had about the, the, the sky and it'll be nice to see what's going on uh, uh, up there Anyway, uh, I wish you uh, clear skies, <laughs> and you might be wishing me, me clear skies as well, and I'll sign off with a sip of iced tea. You guys have a good one. We'll talk at you later. Keep cool.